So joining us now for more on this, Chris Rondeau, who is the CEO of Planet Fitness. Chris, thanks for once again joining us back here on Cheddar. Appreciate the time as always. These were excellent uh, third quarter earnings. Were you expecting to see these kind of numbers? Yeah, you know, we saw some great momentum in Q3. You know, Q2 was was great as well. Q3 was I couldn't be more pleased with it. And uh, you know, winning, you know, everything was going in the right direction, right? We had membership growth, we had same store sales growth, um, beat all the uh, all the street on on all our guidance. So everything was everything's really going the right direction. And I'm glad the street um, is responding responding right. It's great. You know, as you look across the competitive landscape, it's, of course, come with this backdrop of the in-home fitness trend. And for Planet Fitness, you've also been able to build up kind of your digital presence as well to really tap into that and offering workouts elsewhere outside of the physical locations. How critical, I guess, first, have the, the physical locations been to the broader reopening and amassing some of these results? And how do you continue to kind of propel people back towards that IRL, that in real life experience? experiences back on premise. Yeah, and I think, you know, I, I was saying this honestly since the pandemic started, is that you know, home fitness is really not anything new, right? It was started with Richard Simmons and Jane Fonda, then you go back to Billy Blanks and P90X and you go on and on. And, and home fitness, I think, will always be there. Um, but I think what we've seen, and, and I, you know, I haven't wavered from this through the COVID, is that, is that at the end of the day, I think home fitness is a great supplement, but it's not a substitute for really a true gym experience, great equipment, variety of equipment, um, and just being around others, right? And I think we're seeing that. And now that people can get out and go about their day as, as their normal life, I think we're now reaping the benefits of people getting out to being normal again. And, and, and this is kind of what I said was going to happen. And I, it's, finally, it's finally great to see this happen. Um, and our app has been, been great. And the digital engagement is great. And I think that will stay. But I think what we're seeing here is people are ready to get out and be with others. You know, as you survey new members, what are they citing as a reason that they're signing up and in terms of the catalyst, perhaps, that's driving them to their membership at Planet Fitness right now? Well, I think more and more what we're seeing is, you know, there's a lot of stats around the weight gain. I mean, 70% of adults were overweight or obese pre-pandemic. And the CDC has even said that since the pandemic started, that almost 40% of adults have gained an average of 29 pounds. Believe that on top of the fact that we already had an issue before COVID. And then the mental health, unfortunately, has is, is been really bad. You've seen what's happened and all the stats coming out about mental wellness and how important that is today, getting out, being with others. And, and I think what people realizing now is fitness is not only about vanity, right? It's not about your waistline feeling better. It's, it's really helping with anxiety, help with depression, helps you sleep better. And this is all the things that people are going through right now coming out of COVID and the pandemic pandemic and being quarantined and, and Planet is here and it's a place people can come and at 10 bucks a month, anybody can do it. You know, that's a really good point. And I wonder, you know, as you look across so many places where people either find sources of inspiration or on the other side of that spectrum, they find themselves perhaps even shamed at the end of the day or feeling low self-esteem as a result of scrolling through Instagram or social media and, and seeing all of these physiques that are perhaps algorithmically pushed to them. Um, and perhaps that yeah. pushes them in one way or another. But how can our social media use that clearly we're not stepping away from, how can that actually contribute to us wanting to make sure that we take on and harness more of that mental health um, and prioritization around physical health and the correlation of the two as well? Yeah, no, I think that's that's a good point. And we're going to see some of our marketing here um, coming out where we're going to try to really highlight the benefits of exercise. And it's not, like I said, it's not just only waistline. That's almost like the byproduct of exercise is the long-term results of being physically fit. But the short term of, you just know, think about this, you know, walking into a gym, it's, 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 it's a chore sometimes, right? It's four in the morning or five in the morning or it's after work. You've had a long day at work. I got to go to the gym. But you always walk out feeling better, right? You, the euphoria, the, the feeling of being happy and that you just accomplished something, that's what brings you back the next day and the next day. And that's what we want to really capture is get people to realize. And that's the instant gratification. The weight loss will come, right? It might take a couple months. But when you feel that sense of happiness and that joy you feel after I just did that, that's what it's about. And that's what gets people coming back the next day. And I think that's what's most important for people to realize that, that, that you'll definitely feel better even after one workout.
You know, that's what I've always appreciated actually about Planet Fitness is that there's a psychological approach to welcoming new members in and customers in as well, in that you were one of the brands that had a Lunk Alarm, you had the free pizza Fridays, of course, and everything like that, and it made the fitness experience more approachable to say that it is a journey and that we're not here for any type of intimidation or gym intimidation, as you mentioned, and as the company's uh, marketing materials had put in the past, I, I should probably disclose that I'm a Planet Fitness member as well. When you see new members signing up, is it for the lower tier of the membership? Is it for the higher tier? You know, and I only have about 20 seconds left here. Yeah, sure. No, they always come in for $10 membership. That's what gets you off the couch. I mean, I can do that. I can afford that. Let's give it a try. When they come in, though, believe it or not, when they see all the benefits of the black card, the reciprocity, use any club in the country at no additional charge, guest privileges, you can bring a guest with you to come with you for free. Right. So if you're intimidated, you feel uncomfortable, you can bring somebody with you, give you some support. Right. All the benefits drive more people, believe it or not, to the black card membership at twenty two ninety nine, which is still a great value. Yeah. But you're right. Intimidation and judgment free is so important because walking into a place where everybody's, you know, wearing the three hundred dollar outfit to work out and they're physically, you know, it's like triathletes. Right. That's not the norm, and that's yeah. that's just discouraging, you know? Chris, we got to leave things there on the day. Always appreciate the time discussing with you. Chris Rondeau, who is the CEO of Planet Fitness, everyone.